Hey guys, welcome to our channel Prithyusha's Knowledge Hub. I am your Dr. Prithyusha. Before starting our video today, there is a small announcement. Many people are seeing my video but you are not subscribing to my channel. So please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates of my video. And don't forget to share with your friends. So in today's video, we are going to see how to get NPTEL star certificates. Actually, here we are having NPTEL star certificates in different categories. So let's start the session and let's see one by one. And also let's see what the what criteria should we meet to get the star certificates. Okay. So coming to this, here these are some of the queries asked by some of the students. So what are these queries? Let's see. How to get an NPTEL certificate? What are the NPTEL star categories? What is the criteria to get different NPTEL star category certificates? What should I do to get the certificates in this NPTEL star category? What is the criteria to get the star certificates? So these are some of the questions uh, uh, students uh, are asking uh, many times. So let's see one by one what are these. So coming to the NPTEL stars, here we are having a different categories of certificates in the NPTEL stars. If you need any information regarding these certificates uh, by your own, uh, you can visit to this uh, link and uh, you can check out the NPTEL stars criteria and those all. Okay, so coming to the, the criteria, so, uh, coming to the categories, let's see the categories of the NPTEL stars. So as you can see, NPTEL domain scholars, NPTEL superstars, NPTEL uh, evangelists, NPTEL uh, motivated learners, NPTEL enthusiasts. Uh, NPTEL discipline stars, NPTEL believers. These are different um, uh, categories uh, they are providing with the NPTEL star certificates. So coming to the first one is about the NPTEL domain scholars. So in here, this NP in these domain scholars, the student will be getting the domain certificate from that particular uh, from that particular uh, uh, domain. Okay, so domain is nothing but like uh, here nowadays we are uh, we are saying like um, uh, branches. So like that uh, here this NPTEL team is uh, providing some uh, domains. Uh, so in these domains you will be having some core subjects uh, and uh, you will be having some elective subjects. So you should clear the uh, core subjects and elective subjects within the three years of time. Okay. Uh, so uh, coming to the criteria which this NPTEL domain uh, should satisfy is uh, the here the minimum score in each subject should be greater than or equal to 55. Okay. On an average. Uh, you will be doing some uh, 3 plus 3 like that uh, or 4 plus 2 like that. Uh, on an average, you should get the 60 percent. Uh, 60. On an average, you should get the 60. Then only they will be issuing the NPTEL Domain Scholar Certificate. So more details regarding the NPTEL Domain Scholar Certificate, we will be doing the another video in detail about this NPTEL Domain Scholar Certificates. Okay. So this is the first one in this uh, NPTEL stars that is the NPTEL Domain Scholars. So coming to the next one is the NPTEL superstars. In this NPTEL superstars, the student must uh, appear for either four exams or five exams or six exams and should be at least uh, topper in at least three exams. So then only they will be getting the NPTEL superstars, which means that here the student should write either four exams, should pay the money and should write four exams either uh, or five exams or six exams. Among this, the student should be a topper in at least three exams in that particular uh, courses. So then only he will be, he or she will be issuing the NPTEL superstars. Coming to the next one is the NPTEL evangelist. So in this NPTEL evangelist, here the student should write at least 18 exams, should present for 18 exams in four years. So here the time duration is four years they have kept and in these four years either you can say four years or you can say four into two eight semesters. Okay. So in these eight semesters the student should write at least eight, 18 exams. So in these 18 exams uh, he must pass at least 12 courses. Two third means 12 courses he must uh, pass uh, he must uh, get qualified. Then only he will be getting the NPTEL evangelist. Okay. Coming to the next one is the NPTEL motivated learners. In these NPTEL motivated learners, the student should uh, write uh, at least eight exams in four semesters. Uh, that is, four to, uh, they can write like uh, four into two. Uh, for each semester, they need to write the two exams. So here, uh, they will be appearing for eight exams. And um, coming to the uh, and they and the criteria here is that they should pass at least uh, four semesters. At least in four semesters. That is, in each semester, they should pass at least one exam. Okay, one course. And the course should get a 75% uh, 
uh, 75%, then only they will be getting the NPTEL Motivated Learners Certificate. Okay. In this NPTEL Motivated Learners, the student or whoever is writing the exam, uh, in these four semesters, there should not be any gap. That is, uh, they should uh, write the exam in every semester, compulsory two exams and should qualify at least one exam in every semester. So, this, uh, then only they will be getting the NPTEL Motivated Learners Certificate. Coming to the next one is the NPTEL Enthusiast. So, in this NPTEL Enthusiast, here the same category here also they are following. That is, uh, the student should appear for eight exams at least in the four semesters. That is, four into two, eight exams he can appear. So, the criteria here is uh, in the previous one, there should not be uh, any gap in between the semester. So, the student should write the continuous uh, process in the continuous process and should pass at least one exam in the semester for the NPTEL motivated learners. Whereas, coming to this one, here the student can take a break uh, and write the exams again. Uh, there is no time gap uh, for this uh, NPTEL enthusiasts. But the student should get 75% uh, in each, every, in each and every Coming to the next one is the NP, NPTEL Discipline Stars. So in this NPTEL, when you are going, when you are going to get the NPTEL Discipline Stars means uh, here, whoever is writing the exams, uh, they should get the, they should uh, complete their 50 weeks of learning and uh, in every, every subject they should get uh, greater than or equal to 55. Okay. Uh, so, coming to here, discipline means uh, here you are having like, uh, for example, computer science discipline, electronics discipline. So, in whatever the courses you have done, uh, in that particular discipline, they will be issuing the certificate. And here the criteria is you should complete the 50 weeks uh, of the uh, learning of that uh, of those particular courses. And the final score should be in every, in every exam, you should get the greater than or equal to 55. Then only they will be issuing the NPTEL Discipline Star Certificate. So discipline in the sense like uh, it can be either uh, if you have done the courses in CSE uh, related courses uh, and uh, you have got the greater than or equal to 55 and you have uh, filled the criteria like uh, 50 weeks of courses you have learned like uh, 50 weeks in the sense uh, different different in, uh, in one semester have done two courses in another semester have done one courses. One course, so as you are having the 12 weeks course, 8 weeks course, 4 weeks course, if you count these all courses, means it should be, uh, it should be more than 50 weeks. Uh, then only they will be issuing the NPTEL star certificate. So in that particular star, you will be getting a certificate. Okay, so you know, in this and that particular discipline. So discipline in the sense it can be either CSC discipline or EC discipline or mechanical discipline, any other disciplines, you will be getting a certificate when you completed those particular courses. Okay. So coming to the next one is the NPTEL Believers. So here the NPTEL Believers are uh, same as the NPTEL Superstars if you see means. So here the student also should write the, either the 4 exams, 5 exams or 6 exams they can write. But uh, the student has to pass in at least 4 exams. Okay. In, uh, if he had appeared for 5 exams means he should pass at least for 4 exams. If he had appeared for 4 exams means compulsory he should need to pass the 4 exams then only he will be getting the NPTEL Believers Certificate, that too in one semester. Okay, so coming to here, if you see means, here the NPTEL stars and NPTEL Believers are somewhat similar. So here the student should uh, appear for four weeks or eight, five weeks or six, I mean uh, four exams or five exams or six exams. And in, in the NPTEL Superstars, the student should be in topper of any of the three courses. If he had appeared for four exams, means he should be in topper, uh, he should be out topper of any three exams which he had written uh, out of four. Okay, so coming to the NPTEL believers, here the student, here also the student should present uh, for the four exams or five exams or six exams. Uh, but the, the, here the criteria is in order to get this certificate, the student should have at least, uh, should pass at least four exams. Okay. Now, so coming to the next, uh, if you are seeing this NPTEL motivated learners and NPTEL enthusiasts, uh, these two criteria are same. But the di only difference is uh, here in the NPTEL motivated learners, uh, there is no, there should be not, uh, there should be no gap in between these semesters. So the student should uh, should learn continuously and should pass the exams with a 75%. Uh, but uh, coming to the NPTEL enthusiasts. Uh, here there is no continuous process. If you if the student has break one semester two, no problem. They can continue the course and they will be getting the NPTEL enthusiasts. So if you see these two are somewhat similar, and NPTEL superstars and NPTEL believer, believers are somewhat similar. Okay, with small modifications. So these are the different categories of NPTEL certificates, and let's see what are the different categories in detail 
uh, and also about the what are the, how the how they are going to issue the certificates for this each domain uh, for this each uh, uh, is each discipline or uh, domain okay let's see so coming to the next one is about the nptl stars so as you can as we discussed before here this nptl superstars and nptl believers uh, both the criteria are same but uh, the only difference is small difference in the nptl superstars the student should uh, pass at least three exams and should be a topper in three exams and uh, nptl believers uh, no need to be a topper out of uh, uh, four or five or six exams the student should pass at least four exams okay so then he will be getting NPTEL believers. If the student have done these two NPTEL superstars and NPTEL believers, then the preference will be given to the NPTEL superstars apart from believers. Okay. So coming to the next is about the NPTEL motivated learners and NPTEL enthusiasts. These two criteria are same. The only difference is in the NPTEL motivated learners, they should be a continuous process. No breaks in the middle of the semesters. So you should um, uh, do your courses continuously. So whereas coming to the NPTEL enthusiasts, here they, uh, no need to do the course continuously. You can take a break and continue your courses. Then you will be getting the NPTEL enthusiasts. So if you if a student have done these two criteria, you have fulfilled these two criteria, means the topmost one is a uh, they have they will be considered as a NPTEL motivated learner certificate. Okay. So here you are having some note. What is a note means? Uh, if you have got any certificate in this particular semester based on the uh, previous uh, criteria. Uh, then uh, uh, you will be getting the certificate in that particular uh, particular uh, uh, domain, okay, or particular discipline. Uh, after getting the certificate, these will not be carried forward to the next uh, uh, next uh, NPTEL star certificates. Uh, then from the next onwards, you should again uh, uh, earn uh, uh, you should uh, fulfill the criteria, okay. Then only you will be getting the certificate from that particular uh, domain. So this is about the NPTEL star explanation of the criteria. Now let's see each and each, each and every NPTEL star certificate related info in detail. So the first one is related to the NPTEL domain scholars. So in this NPTEL domain scholars, uh, here they will be providing the core subjects info, uh, core subjects list and also elective list. And they will be saying the criteria uh, regarding the uh, completion of that particular domain. Okay. So in some subjects, they can be either uh, they should uh, complete the three core subjects and uh, four uh, elective subjects. In some, they should they can be like uh, they should complete uh, four uh, core subjects and three elective subjects like that. Uh, they are having some criteria based on the course or a domain. They, uh, the criteria will be changed. So coming to the main point we need to discuss is uh, uh, here in order to complete a core or a elective course, the student should get a minimum score of greater than or equal to 55. Uh, in every in each in each course okay so with an average of 60 in order to get the in order to complete the weeks required okay so here you can see these are some of the people who have been completed the nptl domain scholar certificate uh, and uh, these people are posted on the nptl wall so in the next semesters if you are one of uh, one of them then you too will be placed in the nptl wall okay so coming to the next uh, here the condition is you should complete the domain uh, domain courses uh, within the three years so in the period of uh, three years you should complete the courses okay so coming to the and uh, regarding the nptl domain scholar certificates we will be doing another video and there you can see in detail okay so coming to the next one is a nptl domain certificate uh, uh, i mean uh, this is a certificate how you are going to get so as you can see here the, you can see the domain certificate and nptl swm and you can see your photo and uh, what is your name, name of the student and in which um, in which uh, domain you have done, completed the course, they will be mentioning the domain name and uh, duration of the course uh, and also they will be mentioning the discipline name. So discipline name in the sense which is related to either it is uh, related to CSE, it is related to electronics, uh, they will be display, displaying that discipline name. Okay. And uh, here you will be having some role number and this all and on the right side here you will be getting the some course name in which course you have completed and what is the duration of that particular course uh, and also here you are having some scanners you can scan and download the certificate here the main criteria you need to fulfill is uh, actually the, let's see the difference between the nptl normal nptl and nptl domain in the normal nptl uh, there is a criteria that uh, uh, the person should get in the assignment 10 marks and uh, should um, be greater than or equal to 10 marks and in the end exam he should he or she should get uh, greater than or equal to 30 marks which means that for the 100, they should get the 40 marks. Then only they will be issuing the certificate. 
whereas coming to the NPTEL domain certificate, here the criteria is uh, here for every course the student should get the minimum of 55 greater than or equal to 55 score and uh, on an average in a, uh, as per the criteria they have given on an average the student should complete with a 60 weeks uh, 60 uh, complete weeks okay then only they will be issuing the certificate and uh, you should write the exam and then only they will be issuing the certificate the, should, the certificate will be looked in this manner so this is about the nptl domain certificate and we will be discussing the about this nptl domain certificate in detail in the uh, further videos coming to the next one is the nptl superstars so coming to the superstars uh, when the candidate will be recognized as a superstars means uh, he or she should present uh, for either for four exams five exams or six exams okay so if here and uh, here the criteria is uh, here uh, if you have uh, appeared for four exams or five exams or six exams the student should uh, qualify and uh, should be a topper in at least three exams then only they will be issuing the nptl superstars and these are some of the superstars um, uh, who have completed the course uh, in the july december 20 um, i mean uh, in the jan jan april 2023 okay so coming to the next one is so coming to the certificate this is a certificate regarding nptl superstars and the criteria here it should match is uh, here the uh, student should appear for either for four exams or five exams or six exams uh, but should be a topper in at least three exams uh, if he have if he had uh, fulfilled this criteria means uh, then uh, you will be getting a certificate like this as you can see in this uh, on the certificate you are having some nptl spym logos along with that here you are, you are getting some nptl superstar uh, logo like a badge and you will be getting some photo and uh, your name and uh, in which um, uh, in which you have done the course they will be mentioning that one and the timeline of that particular course where you have been in which uh, uh, semester you have uh, from which semester to which semester you have completed that particular course you they will be mentioning all okay so coming to the next one is a nptl evangelist so in this nptl evangelist the criteria is uh, here uh, we uh, here they will be considering the four years that is a uh, eight semester so 18 to 2 means which is nothing but a four years uh, data in these four years the student should uh, uh, should have taken uh, eight, 36 courses out of these 36 courses the students should uh, uh, write the exam 18 exams should, the student should write um, and uh, among these 18 exams the student should pass at least in uh, 12 exams uh, then only they will be issuing the nptl evangelist and the criteria here uh, another criteria should be met is in this nptl evangelist there should not be any gap in between these four years so the student should uh, do the course in every semester and uh, here he, he should fulfill the uh, that uh, he, he had passed the 12 um, uh, 12 exams okay so then only he will be getting the nptl evangelist and these are some of the people who have completed the course and as you can see this is a certificate regarding the nptl evangelist as we discussed before all are same but only the uh, thing which is different is nptl evangelist badge okay and uh, coming to the so coming to the next one is a nptl motivated learners so here the student should appear in at least eight exams uh, in a four semesters and uh, he should pass uh, with 75% uh, of the course uh, uh, courses 75% uh, of the exams in which they have he had appeared and uh, which means like uh, in four semesters he should pass at least in one exam okay so coming to here uh, here this is a continuous uh, learning it, there should not be any gap in between the semesters so then only he will be getting NPTEL motivated learners. So coming to the NPTEL motivated learners, as we discussed before, appeared in at least eight exams in four semesters, passed in the 75% of the course appeared at least one exam in each of the four semesters. In each, in each semester, he should pass compulsory one exam. And the certificate is as usual as we discussed before. The only thing they have been changed is the NPTEL motivated learners badge. Okay. So coming to the next one is the NPTEL enthusiasts. So in this, uh, in this actually, the student who has to appear at least eight exams in four semesters, and he should pass the 75 with the 75 percent. Uh, but uh, here the criteria is uh, no need to have a continuity, uh, which means that uh, they can take a break in between the uh, in between one semester, and they can again continue the course. Then they will be getting a NPTEL enthusiast certificate. Okay. So this is how the certificate will be looking like. Uh, so coming to here, the only thing they have changed is a logo. That is a, um, a badge, NPTEL enthusiast. They will be getting the badge like this. Remaining all are same. Like uh, you will be getting a photo, name, or uh, next in which uh, domain you have done. 
uh, what is the timeline, what is the name of a particular domain, those all will be mentioned here. So coming to the next one is the NPTEL Discipline Stars. So coming to this NPTEL Discipline Stars, here the candidate should uh, certified in the course of the same discipline and uh, coming to here uh, more than the 50 weeks of the learning and also here the final score should, for each subject should be greater than or equal to 55. And uh, all the courses should be done in a particular course. In some same course only, we have to done, uh, do the course. Okay. So, as a NPTEL discipline starts, uh, for example, if I, have, if I have taken the CSE courses. So, in um, I have completed the CSE courses. In this, in the first semester, I have done a 12, uh, 12 weeks course. In the next semester, I have done 12 weeks course. Like that, too, if you are counting 12 plus, 12 plus, or 8 plus, 4 plus, like that, if you are counting means, if you have completed the 50 weeks course, uh, and also, uh, whatever the courses you have done, you have written the exam. And in the exam, the criteria is uh, it should be cross greater than or equal to 55. Each course should be cross greater than or equal to 55. Then only they will be issuing the NPTEL discipline certificate. So, I have done the course in CSE, uh, CSE related courses. So, I will, I will be getting the NPTEL discipline certificate in CSE related, uh, CSE course. Okay. So, coming to here. How the certificate looks like means uh, here this is a certificate uh, uh, remaining all are same only the difference is a logo or a badge. Okay, so here you will be you will be getting with the NPTEL star certificate, the NPTEL star logo. Okay, so coming to the next one. Here what is the difference as we discussed before the difference between the normal NPTEL and uh, this NPTEL discipline stars is in the normal NPTEL, if you got me greater than or equal to 40 means uh, it is enough uh, if the criteria meets for the assignment and end exam. Uh, but uh, coming to the uh, here, in the NPTEL discipline stars, you, uh, you should, uh, it is mandatory to reach the greater than or equal to 50, which means that in the assignment, you should get uh, greater than or equal to 10. In the end exam, you should get greater than or equal to 30. If this criteria meets, the next one is here, you should get in order to get the discipline certificate uh, among uh, all the courses. Each course should be of greater than or equal to 55. Then only they will be issuing the certificate. So coming to the next one is the NPTEL believers. So here the student will be present for either four exams, or five exams, or six exams. Uh, but uh, he should pass at least four exams for which they have been appeared. Okay. So then they will be getting the NPTEL believers certificate. So four exams. So how can they write the six exams? Means uh, here the NPTEL will be run for three uh, three days. So, for each day, you can write two exams. Like that, three, uh, three into two, which are nothing but six exams. Out of six, uh, you should compulsory uh, have, uh, you should compulsory uh, get qualified for at least four exams. Then only you will be getting the NPTEL Believers Certificate. So, these are some of the candidates who have completed this NPTEL Believers Certificate. Okay. So, coming to the certificate, this is a certificate for the related to the NPTEL Believers. So, as you can see, this is the NPTEL Believers logo uh, or a badge um, and remaining all are same. Okay. So, coming to the progress, till now we have discussed about different categories of the NPTEL STARS certificates. So, coming to the progress, uh, many of the candidates are doing this NPTEL STARS. Uh, so, they have given some ratio regarding this one. So, as you can see from right from July 2019, they have started and now we are in July, April 2023. Uh, so, in uh, we have completed. Uh, in Jan, uh, April uh, 2023, NPTEL Domain Scholars, how many students, how many students completed means 129, NPTEL Superstar is completed by 53, and NPTEL Evangelist is completed by, uh, no student have completed this Evangelist. Uh, as we discussed before, this Evangelist and Motivated Learners, both are same. If the criteria meets the both means, the, uh, most of the credit will be going to the Motivated Learners. So, as you can see, NPTEL Motivated Learners are 330 and next NPTEL Enthusiasts are 393, NPTEL Discipline Stars are 1073 and NPTEL Believers are 904. This is some of the progress where the students are doing this NPTEL, uh, NPTEL Star Certificates uh, regularly. Okay. So, coming to the next one is the NPTEL Star Role Base. So, here how many students are doing these NPTEL uh, STAR certificates, gaining uh, NPTEL STAR certificates, how many employees, how many faculty, how many other. So, what is the total? They have given some ratio. Okay. So, I am showing this way in order to motivate you to do the NPTEL, uh, NPTEL courses and to get the STAR certificates. Okay. Hope this video might be useful for everyone. If you like my video, please give me your like symbol and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.
keep watching keep learning see you in the next video